Greetings, my treacherous friends. It is Sunday, December 8th, 2013. And true to my word, I am shutting down this YouTube channel. Um, however, uh, I suppose now might be as good a time as any to tell you why I'm, I'm deciding to do this. Um, before uh, we begin, um, you can find breaking my own rule here. You'll be able to find me on uh, SethLynnBarkin.com uh, and Vimeo. That'll have... I'm not exactly sure how the transition to Vimeo is going to go. But I'm kind of busy. Holidays and stuff. and etc. But um, here's why I, I, I decided to do this. Um, it seems that like more and more um, Google, uh, as they try to like forcibly integrate the G plus um, services, quote unquote, uh, which include like this whole, you know, real name mandate, which I've got nothing to hide. I mean, I link to, you know, my YouTube channel on, you know, Everything. I tell everybody, you know, you can see me on YouTube, you know, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I'm, you know, always had my, in my channel, I've always had uh, ways of contacting me, uh, more or less. But here's the thing, as they forcibly integrated this whole system, they've, um, I'm not a big, first of all, I'm not a big fan of uh, having my real name there linked with my videos um, just on principle because it's not how I started. I started as drunk writer, you know, eight years ago or whatever. And so like I have drunk writer. It's not like a persona. It's no one different than me. It's no one doing or saying or, you know, anything that I'd be ashamed of. It's just that's how it is. And that's, that's, how I would like it to continue. Um, beyond that, uh, you know, if I had known eight years ago, I mean, you know, it, it's and it's it's one thing if you know you ask me. It's another thing if you force it on me. Beyond that, their pseudo implementation of their G plus, you know, model, whatever the fuck their service you know, whatever, into the um, YouTube ecoverse um, has not helped at all. In fact, it's only confused me and it's become a Byzantine, Kafka-esque layer cake of um, looping permissions that make, you know, network configuration problems uh, on Linux look like fucking pieces of cake. I mean, seriously, setting up Arch is so much easier than trying to parse which identity I'm in when I'm, you know, looking at, you know, blah, 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 So lots of problems on that end. Lots of usability problems on that end, which I don't appreciate. I don't appreciate them from a practical... They're negative in the freedom dimension. Um, to quote my friends at uh, the Next Action Show um, and Richard Stallman. Um, get it out of here. Uh, but beyond that, beyond just simple, simple practical issues that... Um, they have complicated and been foisted upon me, you know, without my uh, uh, direct consent and without any uh, way to opt out of and without any recourse, you know, blah, 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 blah. YouTube, since, I don't know, the last couple years, has really fucking sucked. It's really not been good, at least not to me. Um, you know, uh, sure, like, you know, you can find all sorts of you know, ad promoted things, but the, the search results have, have pretty much been shit for a long time. I mean, when I can put in my username into the search bar, and this has been true for like maybe even four or five years now, I guess. It's been true for a long time. Maybe not five years. I've been on here for like eight years. So, almost eight years. Something like that. We're coming up on something like eight years. Uh, when I can put Drunk Writer which is my username 
and is the name that I post my stuff under. And pursuant to the original instructions that I ever received when from YouTube, I add that as the first tag to every video that um, I post, which is seems kind of primitive, but that's how long I've been on here. Um, and then follow that with like the name of a video, a name of a video that I know. I know the actual name of the video. It doesn't come up. And it's been that way for a long time. And that in of itself should have been just like, Seth, you know, you should probably get the fuck off here. These guys are dickheads. Um, you know, blah. Beyond that, um, let me check the time because I don't want to rant too much because all the rest of this stuff is kind of, you know, like, okay, cool, I got about two more minutes before. Um, all, all, most of this stuff is pretty pro forma at this point in terms of complaints about Google. But beyond that, like, I don't like um, the way they handle uh, their rights management side of it. Like, I get copyright notices for things that I've written. Like, shit that I've written, like, fuck you, and there's no real recourse for me to, you know, actively engage or, like, you know, explain, you know, so, fuck you, um, mm. because Google, you know, just because Google's fucking, you know, insane, in, and here's the thing, here's the other thing, Google, as SEO, search engine optimization and shit like that, goes out the window with Google, as they become more adware based, as they become, and also like, you know, the whole fucking NSA thing, doesn't make me happy. It does not make me happy, Google. It does not make me happy at all. And uh, after eight years, I'm going to be pulling all my shit. That's the other thing. Every time I try to look up my videos after I post or say something, because, you know, your little, your little voice, um, you know, your voice to text stuff, and then your little uh, awk powered um, analytics, you know, whatever, you know, fancy framework you have for your regex, uh, you know, seems to find my shit offensive, all of a sudden everything goes down for me for about, oh, you know, two or three days. Beyond that, my stats haven't been fucking reflecting reality in a long time. Beyond that, you took away all my subscribers for a couple weeks, then you took them away again, then you brought them back, then you took them away again, then you brought them back. And I'm really tired of this. I'm really tired of this. Um, and all of this is because Google does, Google is pissed, more or less, with Yahoo. It's like the redhead stepchild. I mean, uh, Google is pissed with uh, YouTube because it's like the redhead stepchild of the Google empire. They have no real easy way to, you know, blah, blah, blah. Beyond all of this, I mean, if you consider, you have... You is the end user. First of all, thank you all for watching, you know, all my videos or whatever. Those of you who've been able to find it. Uh, let me check the time again because I got, I got two other main points that I want to spit out here. Oh, shit. I have, like, one more minute. Whatever. Famous last words. You as the end user need to be very mindful of what you fucking put on the internet. Um, you know, of course, you should know this already. But in terms of the way, like... In terms of the way... Google is a faceless, um, psychotic, myopic, and unresponsive uh, aggregator of your content slash your information, which makes Facebook just look ridiculous. And this is going to be the trend over the next five years. Trust me. It's going to be finding out what you want before you want it. You should look up some TED Talks on this. You should actually get it. And if you're you know younger than I... Um, you should actually get into software development, um, which, you know, is pretty much what I've been doing for the last couple of years, but, um, and really understand this shit. Uh, but I'm tired of serving content, no matter how free they may make it, um, to what essentially to me is an empire that is not responsive to my critical concerns or cares and it's been built on the back of, you know, fucking schmoes like me who blah, blah, blah have, you know, I mean, literally seven years ago. So, all right, I got like 45 seconds left, something like that. Probably too late. Here is why, for those of you who might be curious, as to why I started any of this shit back in the day day. I got this cheap fucking camera. It was... A $300, probably by today's standards, it was like more like $400. 
uh, camera. It was the first camera that I ever owned. It was my second digital camera that I've ever had. And it was the first digital camera that I ever owned that actually recorded audio at the same time that it recorded. And it was, it was the first camera that I ever had that could record video, but it also could record audio. And I thought, wow, I wonder, I wonder if I could maybe, you know, see myself play with this. And I realized that when I bought it, I bought it for just, you know, taking pictures because I had a Nokia brick phone at the time. The uh, iPhone had yet to be invented. Camera phones as we know them had yet to be invented. Anyway. Mm. And I thought, wow, what a fucking awesome platform this could be to help serve my secondary, you know, mission in life at the time. And more or less, as much as I try to fight it, you know, it still kind of is, but um, mission in life to try to, you know, talk about stride piano, explain stride piano, explain what it is, and provide whatever instructional materials I am able to, and this is, you know, going back to a different version of me, a different iteration of me, and a different technological era in which that version of me lived, um, to any generation that, to anyone who might want to know more or learn how, because I had to do all this shit myself. And I thought, what a magnificent platform this could be after I, I mean, I had never seen myself play. I never seen, I'd seen myself play and heard myself one time, but never, never once I got to like a level where I considered myself to be a, to be a professional, or at least to be competent. Um, and so it was a revelation. I, and so I looked for stride piano videos on YouTube and there were none. And so I tried to fill that void. And now there's tons of stuff and no one can find any of my things. And most of my things are, you know, pretty terrible um, in comparison to, you know, the, the, the degree of technology and sophistication that um, many of the other people um, have, have over the intervening years have, have brought to, you know, YouTube as a platform. Uh, both for instruction and education in uh, stride piano. Beyond that, my recommendation, if you want to go into stride piano, it's going to take the rest of your life, and I would not recommend you do it. Um, and yeah, the, those are frank words straight from the horse's mouth. Um, you know, there came a day I realized that I'd spent not just the vast majority, but the entirety of my adult life from the age of 14 cultivating a singular talent for which there is no market desire, and you do it on your own. You build it on your own. Um, and it requires everything to do it that way. It requires everything and a lot of luck to do it that way. Um, and there is no, by virtue of the fact that there is no market, there is no way to keep up your chops in any efficient way such that you can make a living while also staying on the same level with your own skills as you would like. And that is why, you know, why I, I said, you know, a couple of years ago, maybe, I, it seems like a couple of years ago, but, you know, that I was quitting uh, Strike Piano for reals. Um, and yeah, so that's why I'm leaving. Seth Flynnbarkin.com, S E T H F L Y double N B A R K A N. Oh yeah, the only reason why I came back was I moved into this new place and I got this new camcorder and the sound is so good. decided to start playing again but only in a fuck around way and from now on those fuck around ways will be moving to Vimeo stay tuned for more thanks for watching you know and I, I appreciate all the uh, thoughts and well wishes have a happy and a healthy new year there will be another video after this because I have to I figured out what I want to close out with okay cheers bye bye